Hello, my name is Jasmine. Welcome to this next video made exclusively for the Canva Made Easy for Travel Agents Facebook group. This video, I wanted to show you how to create short videos using Canva's new AI feature. So this is a really exciting feature that will help shorten your video editing for your Instagram reels, your TikToks, your YouTube shorts, any short form video content that you are putting together, Canva AI has made it a lot easier. So before we jump into the editors, so I'll be showing you how to do this on your computer as well as in the Canva app on your mobile phone, just run through a few slides and then we will jump into Canva. So why Canva for video content? So as I said, the Canva AI feature does most of the heavy lifting for you. It turns your little short snippets of video into a almost finalized finished product that you can actually post to your social media account. So it is really perfect for your videos on the go. So when you're on location, just take your little short, sharp, you know, 10 to 30 second to a minute videos and the AI will mush it all together and create some really easy, almost done for you um, video content. So just some notes around the video. So before actually giving this feature a try, I recommend having your own videos uploaded. So you need a minimum of three videos that you've um, got ready to go to be uploaded. And then as I said, this is really great for your on-the-go content. Now, for the difference between the free and the pro users, so if you have Canva Pro, you've got access to the entire library and a little bit more freedom with what you can do with it. And some final notes. So this AI feature is currently in beta, so it's in the testing phase. So it might be perfect. However, I will show you a couple of ways that we can do some small tweaks in the editing process to get something that you're really happy with. The other note is that it is free for the moment. So while it is in this testing phase, there is a free allocation. However, it's likely to turn into a Canva Pro feature. So if you use this feature and you love it, you're finding that you're posting more often, you're getting um, engagement and leads and all of those sort of fun things, I absolutely encourage you to update or upgrade to Canva Pro. So I will leave a partnership link in the description below. So just by clicking on that link, it will take you to the upgrade, um, Canva Pro upgrade page, and you can go ahead and use the upgrade. So try Canva Pro for free to continue using the feature. And by clicking the link, you are also helping me by, um, a small affiliate commission that doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps me continue making free content for you. So that is everything on the slides. So let's jump into our Canva editor. On our homepage, we want to come up to what will you be designing today? And we want to click the red social media icon. So what we're looking for is an Instagram reel, but a blank one. So we want to come up to Instagram, select Instagram reel, and it's going to open up a bank blank page for us. Now, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and upload our videos that we actually want to use. So we're going to use this little upload button here and the purple upload. So from there, we can go ahead and open up um, and download any or upload any uh, videos that we want to use. And then we are going to come again to the navigation. We're going to go all the way up the top to where it says design. So this is just under the, uh, the file button. So if we click on design, what we're going to do is to access the AI, we're going to use this generate videos instantly and new. So when we click on this, what it'll do is it'll open up all of our uploaded videos and images. So you can see that I've already got some that are um, uploaded and sitting there. So um, it says to select at least three. So I'm just going to do uh, these ones. And then it says describe the kind of video that you want and we'll use this to generate a design. So if you are on location, you could put, you know, visiting resort or whatever that, that you were doing. So this one was um, uh, our vacation to Hamilton Island. 
And then from there, we're going to click this generate button. So this is Canva putting together our short video. So it does take a few seconds. Here we are. So um, to get rid of this um, on the side, I'm just going to close that out so that we can see our video a little bit, uh, a little bit better. So I'm going to uh, just hit play so that we can watch it all through um, and see what it actually looks like. There we go. Not terrible. So what we can do in terms of the editing side of things is we can change the text, we can change the colors, um, and we can also change like the transitions between them. So there, there is a lot that we can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a lot, or I'm going to navigate a lot, sorry, in this, this little, um, the little like video bar down the bottom. So where we can um, scroll through our video. So this is where I'm going to do a lot of this editing. So we're using this black triangle to drag this, this line that indicates where we are actually in the video. So I'm going to drag this back to this first, this first one uh, to where I can see the whole text. So from here, then we can go in and we can do some basic editing. So uh, if I click on the text, so um, just a quick note, this is the same editor that you use in Canva. So um, editing the text, the colors and everything like that is still the same. Um, it's just pre-written and done for you. So um, instead of um, here, I here I come. So uh, this, if we click this, see all, you can see that it's got this red background. So we've got this red background here. Um, and if we click this, see all, it will actually open up and we can change the color. So say, for example, um, if my brand colors was this blue, for example, um, we can go ahead and change it to that. And then look, Canva's even put these little um, these little icons, like this little island icon here as well. So it does it it gives you um, gives you a base to to start with as well. Um, so if we move across and see, we've got this swipe transition. So uh, this swipe transition is the same through all of the videos. So if we if you did want to change that, you can click on this little um, this little circle that's between each of them, and it will actually give you the option to change the um, how it um, transitions in between each. So you can go ahead um, and change those, and you've got the changing of the colors as well for the swipe. Um, if you didn't necessarily like what was picked or if you wanted to add something a little bit different. Um, so if we move across onto the next one, so it says just arrived at my hotel. So that one's fine. I think the background's good. I like the little emoji. Um, if you wanted to move this to the top, you could. Um, so again, you've got the option to move it up, down or wherever that you want to. This was actually um, the lift to our hotel room um, and it was like a glass so we could see out um, as we went up and down the lift. So this footage actually doesn't move, but the video in its entirety actually has the lift moving up and down. So the way that we actually edit the video itself and select a different portion is that we click on the background and then we are coming up to where it's got this little scissors, which is the trim. So if we click that, we actually have the option to drag through our video and actually pick um, pick a portion that 
um, that we like better essentially. So um, I'm just going to also maybe move this up a little bit and change um, the text starting view from our hotel. Let's have a look at this last one. So it was actually a seaplane. Um, so we can go ahead and change uh, that text. Seaplane um, and probably get rid of that little helicopter emoji. And we can change the uh, background. So again, we'll click up the top to this see all and we can see that we've got our background selected um, so we just change that again to something else. So back to this blue um, and then we'll go back. Again, I will um, see, uh, I'll choose a different portion of the actual video clip. Um, so again, to do that, we're just clicking on the background and we're going to the little scissor and I'm just going to drag it down nice that's pretty well our video done so here we are um, that's 10 or basically 10 minutes in the editor so for me I think that that is um, is basically done so uh, at this stage you can see that down the bottom that it does have the audio track as well now if I went to download this in the um, in the free version of Canva, it would actually prompt me to upgrade to Canva Pro um, or you have the option to um, delete the track here and then just upload, uh, sorry, download the video itself with no audio and then say, for example, if you're putting this into TikTok, you can then go ahead and add your audio separately. So the... Um, the thing to note too that with your Canva Pro upgrade, if you were to do this inside of Canva, you would get Canva Pro free, a free trial for 14 days. Whereas if you click my partnership link, it does give you uh, the Pro upgrade for 30 days. So um, in terms of downloading from here, Hang on, before I get ahead of myself, let's have a look at the final, final video. And the way that we do that, so we're outside of the editor and away from the backgrounds and the distractions, is we come up the top to the share, uh, the share button here. And if we hit play, we can see the video in its entirety. And that's it. So we'll close out of that. Now, it, again, to download, we're going up to share and we're going to come to download. Now, we want to make sure that we're selecting the MP4 video and then obviously we are leaving um, all five pages because we want the video to be the whole thing. It's in its entirety. And then we are clicking the download button. I just want to give you a quick view as to how you do that on your phone because you'll most likely be doing this on location. All right, now let's go through how to do this on our Canva app. So this is perfect for those of you who are going to be doing the content on the go. So when you're on location and you wanna do your short TikTok videos or whatever, this is the perfect place to do this on the go with this AI editor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my phone up the top here so that you can actually see uh, the screen as I'm going. So here we are in the Canva homepage. So we've just logged on and what we're wanting to do is select the little social media icon. Now, again, we are looking for an Instagram blank template. So we're going to hit Instagram and then we're going to come across to the Instagram reel to open up a blank template. And we're going to hit create blank. It's going to open up a blank page. Okay, so now from here, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and select our video. So this is assuming that you already have your videos uploaded into Canva, the ones that you actually want to put into your video. So we want to use this video in an instant. So we want to click this try now button. 
and then and we're going to select the videos that we want to use and then you'll see it says describe the kind of video that you want so this is where i'll put in um vacation to hamilton island and then i'm going to hit this little purple uh the generate button this is what it looks like up here so we'll play it through So as you can see that they do have all the animation and the little, you know, the, um, the, little, the little icons and everything like, like that included. So uh, very, very similar to the video that um, was put together on the computer. And note too that the, uh, the videos that we used were the same. So each time that you actually put the content through the AI, it's coming up with something different every time as well. So that's um, also something handy to know if you do um, happen to put something through, you can use the same content a couple of times um, as well if you want to. So in terms of editing, Editing is very, very similar on the uh, Canva app as it is to the computer that, that, that we went through. So I won't go through too much detail there. But if you do um, not have the pro version, we just need to actually jump in and delete out um, the audio section. So we just use that little trash icon there and delete that out. And then from here, what we can do is after we've done our edits and our downloads is, uh, sorry, our edits and um, any changes that, that you want to make is we can actually go ahead and download. So we're going to use this little download icon and we're going to hit the download button. We want to use it, uh, leave it as an MP4. We're going to download all pages and then hit that download now button. Or the other option is that we can share straight to our social media. So if we hit that uh, share button again, and we have our social medias already linked. You can see there's TikTok, Instagram. You can go ahead and put it on Facebook. So that's a really handy way of actually down, uh, of downloading and exporting and putting it straight onto your social media account straight from the Canva app. So that is a really quick sneak peek as to how to actually go about doing it on your um, on your phone through the Canva app. So. I hope that you do give this a try. Um, if you do, I would love to see your finished products up in the Canva Made Easy for Travel Agents Facebook page. Um, it would be, I would really, really love to get any feedback that, that you had around the Canva AI. Did you like it? Have you started posting and all of those sort of fun things. So um, again, I will put the link for those of you who do want to upgrade to the Canva Pro subscription. I'll put my partnership in the link description. Um, and also, if you do like the content that I put up here on YouTube, please like and subscribe my channel. It helps me out a lot, uh, especially with the YouTube algorithm. So that is it for this video and I hope that you find it useful and I will see you in the next one. Bye.